We are going broke because you won't raise the prices. We are the only store that hasn't raised the prices. Now, why is that? The people in this neighborhood depend on our affordable food just to survive. Oh, hey, Sal, how you doing today? I'm good, Marty. I'll take the usual, please. Coming right up. How's your day going so far? So far, so good. Excellent, excellent. You taking care of yourself? Yes, sir. All right, that'll be a buck and a half. Thank you, buddy. You take care of yourself. You have a great day now. We can't go on like this, and you know it. I am not raising our prices, Rita. We will get through this rough patch like we always do. And how are you going to manage that? Magic? Well, to start off with, I still have my second job. Tonight, I will ask my boss for a raise. Mm. That should help a bit, okay? You're two minutes late, Martin. I'm sorry, the bus was late. I don't want to hear excuses. I hired an old timer like you because the elderly are supposed to be big on punctuality. Elderly? I'm only 52. What did I just say about excuses? Be on time or be fired. Got it? Get to work. Those dishes are not going to clean themselves. Actually, boss, you got a second? <sighs> no, but go ahead. It's just that you see, um, uh, uh... Are you already going senile? I don't have time for this kind of nonsense. I have a restaurant to run. Jeez, you startled me, honey. Oh, sorry. So, did you get the raise or not? N not yet. The, the, the timing was... Oh, I can't even with you, Martin. You don't understand. The restaurant was a zoo. My boss was in a bad mood. It wasn't the right time to ask. Uh, what's that for? I'm leaving you. That's what it's for. It's something that I should have done years ago. Wait, what, you're leaving because I didn't ask for a raise? No, I am leaving because I refuse to be with a man as idiotic as you. That's not fair. Oh, so it's fair for you to dig us both into a gigantic hole? And then you're so surprised when I want to dig myself out? Uh, Rita, come on. No. We can work through this. No, we can't. There is no this. It is over. Hey, Marty, you open? I need a quick bite before my shift. Sure. Come on in. Hey, boss, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it now? Well, I've been working here for six months, and I was hoping to talk to you about maybe getting a raise. A raise? <laughs> You're a dishwasher, Martin. I could get a teenager in here to do this job, and they'd never ask me for a raise. But hell, I can get an undocumented guy in here tomorrow to do it for half the price. Actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. Thank you, Martin. You're fired. Pack your things and go. Wait, you don't have to fire me. I don't have to. I want to. I can't believe you expect a raise when you can't even make it to work on time. I was late one time by two lousy minutes. It's over, done, finished. Now get out. I don't need a big loan, just enough to get me through this little rough patch. We can't help you out with another loan. Why not? You've already taken out two with us, and you've yet to make any progress in paying those off. There has to be some way. I can't lose my store. Then you can raise your prices. Or you could file for bankruptcy. 
Those are the only two ways you can get out from underneath all this debt. Good to see you, Debbie. I'll have the usual. Is everything okay? Oh, hey, hey, it's okay. You can talk to me, Martin. I don't mean to trouble you. It's just, I'm on the verge of losing my shop. My prices are too low and I don't know what to do. I'm more than happy to pay a little more to help you out, Martin. And I know there are plenty of others who would too. Besides, this world is getting very expensive. Why not your store? But that's exactly why I don't want to do it. I like being someone my customers can come to and know that things won't change. Even though everything else is getting more expensive, they can come in here and buy a hot dog and it will just cost them a buck fifty. Or a half gallon of milk will just cost three dollars. It makes a difference in people's lives. Thanks for letting me vent, Debbie. I didn't mean to be such a downer. No. But you've helped me make up my mind. I will not raise my prices. Somehow, some way, I will figure out a fix. Two hot dogs, three dollars. I'll have the usual, please. Dollar fifty. Uh, Just the usual today, Martin. Okay. Uh, yeah, dollar fifty. What? Uh, Looks like business is good today. I don't understand what's happening. I can help you with that. You see, when you told me what you were going through, I reached out to a few people in the neighborhood. Then they reached out to some of their friends, and they reached out to some of their friends, and so on. So you see, turns out everyone wanted to help you out through this tough time, Martin. Uh, how can everyone afford so much? I know I'm not the only one with money troubles. Well, we may not have a ton of money, but we do have the power of community. <laughs> Every one of those people you have helped throughout the years. And those who couldn't afford it reached out to their loved ones who could and asked them to pitch it. But it's too much. I, I can't accept so much. Yes, you can, Martin. It's our turn to help you after you've spent so many years helping us. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for helping our community. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a hot dog. <laughs> 